Hi, this is Dr. Ruscio, and let's discuss the SIBO thyroid connection. This story really begins in 2017, when a group of researchers were trying to better understand what conditions are most tightly associated to SIBO, or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So they examined about 1,800 patients, and they were surprised to see that hypothyroidism was actually the condition most highly associated with small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. They were expecting that some type of intestinal surgery or perhaps use of acid-lowering medications would be what underlied or what most closely associated to SIBO. But in fact, it was hypothyroidism. It's a very unexpected finding, and this kind of sets the stage for a finding from a year later, 2018, a group of Polish researchers were looking at SIBO patients, and they found that SIBO patients had a higher likelihood of thyroid autoimmunity than did healthy controls. And remember that thyroid autoimmunity is the most common cause of hypothyroidism. And then one year later, really the most seminal finding here, a group of researchers wanted to better understand why do some patients who are on thyroid medication still have fatigue and have an inability to stabilize their TSH levels? So they took a group of 60 individuals who are being treated with thyroid hormone as levothyroxine and still had fatigue and were still struggling with dialing in their dose. And they gave 30 of them probiotics and the other 30 they gave a placebo so as to ensure any findings from this study would not be from the placebo effect. And the results here were fairly shocking again. TSH levels in the probiotic group decreased. Levothyroxine dose required also decreased in the probiotic group and fatigue scores improved in the probiotic group all significantly, whereas none of these changes were observed in the placebo group. So again, really interesting and actually uh, hopeful findings here. And likely what was happening, you know, why these patients saw their TSH come down, their dose required reduce, and their fatigue improve was for a few underlying mechanisms. One, the anti SIBO effects of probiotics. It's been demonstrated now in over 18 clinical trials that probiotics can combat SIBO. While at the same time, probiotics have an anti inflammatory impact that they ensue in the gut. And then also very important to clarify that likely the improved gut health led to improved absorption of that capsule of levothyroxine these patients were taking every day, thus leading to an improvement in their symptoms and a reduction in the dose required in that 30 individual group who were taking the probiotics. So some very interesting findings regarding SIBO and thyroid and, and their connectivity that have been published over the past few years and articulating the principle that probiotics are a simple and safe support that may also improve thyroid function.